So in this talk today, I'll be uh, talking about uh, embracing social media as a woodworker. Social media is a widely accepted method to be competitive as a woodworker and to acquire clients for your woodworking and your, uh, your wood products, your furniture, your uh, turnings, everything you create with wood. So I'll be talking about websites in detail and the more common social media platforms that we're all familiar with. Uh, social media provides a form of validation of you and your work and I'll be uh, delving into that. How to leverage social media to make sales and gain exposure as a woodworker. Again, I'll elaborate on that topic. How to determine your niche your specific niche. So how do you use social media as a funnel to where you market your work, typically your website? Use advertising to reach a wider demographic and a specific niche that you've, you've targeted, a niche that you're, uh, you're keen on developing and pursuing. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Norm Perillo from Wood Skills, and I'd like to talk about a few woodworking books I've uh, written. My recent book is Quiet Woodworking in an Unquiet World. It talks about my movement to uh, hand tools. From High Tech to Low Tech, A Woodworker's Journey, which chronicles my journey from my former high tech career to my uh, current furniture making career. Along with that, I offer courses through woodskills.com. The courses range from a basic woodworking course right through to furniture design and a comprehensive design and making course. All books are available in both print and digital format. In this uh, module, uh, I'll be discussing social media for woodworkers and how important it is in today's uh, environment. Uh, there's been a massive shift of business exposure from typical uh, traditional print media to the internet to websites to uh, the social media. This module uh, will uh, will present the uh, how important it is to uh, to embrace social media in your woodworking for exposure and for marketing, and uh, how I've used it in my own businesses, my design business, Pro Design and Wood Skills, effectively over the years and more so now. Advertising was traditionally performed through magazine ads, newspaper ads and yellow pages. A website is the best investment to make people aware of your business and to drive clients to your business. I've had a, a website for over 25 years now in different forms and different technologies from the very primitive websites to more much more sophisticated and uh, contemporary websites. Uh, if, you, if you have a look at my website, my wood skills website, that's probably state of the art in today's uh, website world. So customers expect a business to have a website with uh, your services, your products and a contact page and updates on your business, a blog if you're interested. A blog is a good method to make your uh, website dynamic and to uh, keep keep providing clients with uh, up-to-date information on uh, what you're up to and your uh, product developments and woodworking uh, furniture. I highly advised to get a website for your business. As, so a website can also be seen as a form of validation of your woodworking business. So without a website, people probably tend to rank your, uh, your woodworking business somewhat lower than somebody else's with a website especially in today's world. It's, it's, it's almost mandatory to, to, to have a website. People expect that. The other advantage to a website is that it drives uh, through all the social media platforms we're going to be discussing next. It drives everybody or clients through to your website through social media posts and, and video reels and short and YouTube shorts and that sort of thing and Pinterest posts. I always embed my website in, in every post reel, video reel, uh, YouTube video short, Pinterest post. So clients will um, will be able to uh, access more information about your business if they like what they see in that in that post. Social media exposure on the internet benefits your business. Social media such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Pinterest provide a uh, much larger audience to view your work and for you to develop a following. Setting up a blog at your website also drives up engagement and raises your ranking with search engines. I've had blogs both independently and through my my current website of Wood Skills for a number of years now. I periodically make entries into the blog and it demonstrates that your uh, your business is thriving and and ongoing. And people like to read about what you're up to and what you're doing. The blog is the best uh, vehicle to be able to do this, and it doesn't take much. Just uh, few paragraphs and a couple of pictures and you have a blog post. <laughs> so uh, in the next the next segments, we'll be talking about specific uh, social media platforms. I've mentioned it, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Pinterest. These are the, uh, the social media platforms I use in my own uh, marketing and uh, effectively. Some are more effective than others. It depends uh, where you need you want to focus your uh, your social media marketing time. And this is something I'll get into also, is how much time should you invest in, uh, in social media, not to take away too much time from your business. 
Social media marketing works with your uh, your business website in conjunction with your business website to bring awareness uh, to your woodworking or furniture making business. Clients today will use the internet to search for a, uh, a woodworker or furniture maker. In the past, the traditional method of searching with, was probably through the yellow pages or for word of mouth, uh, magazine ads, newspaper ads, but it's all done through the internet now. We can all attest to this, I'm sure. So if you don't have an internet presence, you are definitely at a disadvantage. A website for your business is the minimum in today's connected world. Social media exposure should be next on your list of effective internet marketing techniques. I can't stress um, both the website and the social media more than I am because of uh, how important it's become. Most of my, um, my advertising is performed through social media today and not through print media as in the past. For the first few years of my business, I would focus on magazine ads, at least two magazines I was advertising in at the time, American Woodworker and uh, Woodwork Magazine. And I've since, well, the magazines don't even exist anymore, those specific magazines, but uh, I've shifted to social media and uh, good example is Facebook. I had, I spend a considerable amount of advertising on uh, on Facebook. It's kind of cyclical. I get some revenue back and usually it, at the very least it will pay for the advertising. So that's not too bad. And you'd be surprised at some of the sales you make. Some are larger than others. So it sort of uh, justifies the, the investment. Along with that, you get exposure. I would say 90%, 80% of other furniture makers and woodworkers are predominantly um, performing their, their marketing through, uh, through the internet in some form or another. So if you're not doing this, you're automatically at a disadvantage. The uh, image shows my one of my earlier um, blogs. This was way, way back and it started and it's been since updated. So this is an updated version of the blog. And it has, uh, this is one of the posts in 2021, July 31st. This is the refined edge design build. Uh, Pearl design was formerly called refined edge. So I had this blog, it was an independent blog, not uh, attached to uh, my websites, but I've since <clears throat> migrated to uh, my own uh, blog on my own website. And this works better with search engines for people to find your uh, your website through the uh, your own blog as opposed to an independent blog with links back to your your own uh, website. This is an example. It's still out there, and uh, I don't quite update it as often now because there's just too many updates to perform over all the social media platforms. But, uh, it's a good example of uh, of a blog, and uh, and every post has, a, of course, a link back to my my main website or the my marketing website. I use it as leverage to uh, hopefully to make some sales, and when they see the work, the clients are more. Uh, hopefully more interested in what you have to offer so you can see your other offerings, either furniture, your furniture services or other woodworking uh, you, you perform. So this is a, uh, a good example of, uh, of a website. This is a Perolo, this is my Perolo design website and formerly refined edge design. So I just wanted to demonstrate or show the, uh, the, the important tabs you should have on a website. As far as the website development is concerned itself, uh, it's far easier to, uh, to actually create your own website today as it was in the past. I've had to create websites using uh, coding with HTML in the past, 20, 15 years ago, 25 years ago even. And it's progressed to where uh, we have advanced technology today to, for you to be able to create your own websites. Uh, there are uh, hosting uh, website hosting companies that provide that software and they provide several uh, tutorials on how to do this. So my wood skill site is, um, I've actually developed that on my own. This one is a WordPress site. I would highly recommend developing your own through one of the hosting companies. Far easier to develop your own website and populate it with uh, important information about your own business. So in this in this particular business, I'll show you the, uh, I'll talk about the different tabs and uh, the about tab is important as it discusses a little bit about your background, your expertise and uh, and uh, what you actually create in your, uh, in your woodworking. It's, furniture, woodworking objects. The next is work. Work is also synonymous with a gallery. And this is uh, this provides a client with uh, information or uh, something they can visualize about the work you've already performed so they could determine if your style is what they're interested in and the quality of uh, your work and the finishes. And in my case, the next tab is, uh, is a courses tab. And it's because I my business predominantly revolves around uh, woodworking course development, books and plants and wood skills. And in this uh, Corolla design also. But and, uh, you could substitute this with your own, uh, with the tab uh, revolves around what you have to offer for, as a product. The next tab is tools. I, I was formerly uh, developing some tools and, um, and offered them for sale, but I no longer do that. But I keep the tab there just to show 
clients uh, demonstrate some of my expertise with detail work. Next is a blog. I highly uh, recommend a blog on your own website. I have a blog at this site and at my Woodskill site, and it doesn't take much effort to uh, update a blog. It's just a few paragraphs of uh, information with a few images or a video. It highlights uh, what you're up to at the moment, any recent developments in your business, any uh, interesting furniture, or woodworking you've uh, you've performed, and uh, some how-to information. It keeps drawing people into your website through the search engines and people that are already familiar with your website. The next tab, in my case, I, uh, I talk about furniture design and how we work with the client and developing a design and how we work with certain criteria of the design. So this is a tab, it's an optional tab, but in my case, it's uh, specific to this website. And the last tab is contact. This is almost uh, mandatory for every website. This provides the client with your uh, your email address, your, uh, your social media contacts and uh, pages and accounts and for any other uh, method for them to contact you, a phone number and uh, also location, that's that's optional. But if you're doing local work, it's important for them to understand that they can visit you or uh, your work. you can work with them locally in your own area, your own city. So this is a good example of a website and how it's laid out and all the tabs. The tabs are all customized. You can select your own wording for tabs and uh, all the website hosting companies allow for you to modify your, your tabs and direct them to different pages within the actual website itself. And then you just simply populate the different pages in the website with uh, with images, banner, banner images, information, text, and videos today, much more so than in the past. You can see the, uh, the domain name is still refinededge.com, whereas the actual name of the business is Parolo Design. So I've kept the original domain name for several reasons because of all the links I've established over uh, a period of 15 years. But I also have a domain Perolo design that links back to Refined Edge design, refinededge.com, something you might be interested in doing if, if you uh, develop a, uh, come up with a new business and want to leverage all the, uh, the former links you've established over the years. There's been an explosion of social media platforms that bring awareness to your business. The most popular platforms today include uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, and Twitter. These are the platforms I use most often and bring the greatest exposure to my own business. So I've embraced social media as an effective marketing tool for my business. The uh, social media platforms I've just uh, mentioned are the more popular ones there are other platforms let's not forget that every time you, you invest in a platform and start posting at a platform this cumulative effect there's more time involved in, in in posting so you have to determine which social media platform is best for your business i tend to focus on instagram and i i post on youtube but a little differently it's more of a instructional and uh, describing some of the work I do. But Instagram is more of uh, my my day-to-day -day processes and my furniture making, furniture I create. So this creates an energy around my business and, uh, and an excitement around my business and hope, and it drives people to, to become a follower of my Instagram account. Of course, within embedded within the Instagram account is my my, my main WoodSkills uh, website. So it also works in conjunction with, with driving people to my WoodSkills website where you can better Better understand what I what I do in the course in the form of uh, woodworking course offerings. So this is specific to my business and my Prolo design or refined edge design business are mostly uh, custom furniture or one of a kind furniture today. And so I drive people there through a, two different accounts so they can see my work through a gallery my work and uh, and how I work with through the design process with the client. So this also works. And Facebook is, uh, is a little different. Facebook, uh, I'll talk about that shortly. It's about developing a business web, a business page within Facebook, again, for increased exposure and marketing. So it depends on how Facebook works for you. I tend to focus on Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and uh, I found that Pinterest works really well for a woodworking business. If you regularly post uh, your work, uh, people will find out, find out about you through your, uh, your individual posts. Twitter, I don't use as often as I, sh as I should maybe. I, it's not so much uh, oriented towards promoting your business or exposure of your business. I find it more politically driven, so I tend to stay away from Twitter. But I post, I do post regularly there. I share some of my other posts that I've created on, uh, on other platforms at, to Twitter. And this is something I'll also get into, how to share a post you've already created uh, 
on different platforms to save all the, the time of rewriting, a, recreating a post on all the different platforms. So uh, needless to say, I've embraced social media in my uh, my marketing, and it's probably the uh, number one marketing tool I use now. Hardly use any other marketing tools. I mean, the type of business I'm in, word of mouth is really not, not as effective as uh, marketing. Marketing exposes my business more of an international scale as, uh, as opposed to any other form of marketing, a local domestic. And I offer downloadable courseware on my WoodSkill site so that, that can work around the world, really. And the, uh, the design site, the Parola Design Furniture Design, is more of a a local business so I, I target a different uh, niche or different demographic for that business and I'll talk about that shortly. So in conclusion some takeaways of the social media topic I've just discussed. So get a website for your business as a focal point to describe your products and services. People almost expect a woodworker to have a website today. Embrace social media. It is the new trend to acquire clients for your woodworking. Don't let social media overwhelm your business activity, manage your social media time. Very easy to get overwhelmed with social media. We've, we've all experienced or heard about horror stories about how much time people spend on social media. Don't be one of those people. Limit the time you spend on social media and uh, participate in social media. And Your core business should be your main focus, in other words. Advertising on social media extends the reach to a wider demographic and a specific niche that you've targeted or wish to target. Use social media posts to funnel clients to your website or wherever you market your work. Website is a where you detail your work, products, contact info, promotions, a blog, and uh, different categories of work you produce, if you produce multiple types of work. So I highly advise even beginning in the social realm of social media to just get yourself a website, start participating and advertising on social media platforms and point everything back to your, uh, your website as I've discussed in the uh, in the presentation. So please subscribe to my channel and I'll have more information about developing yourself as a woodworker and also uh, you can visit uh, woodskills.com where I have a good selection of, uh, of books on these topics and a few online courses you can take. And so I have actually have a do I do have a course on uh, social media for woodworkers and uh, this book on how to start a woodworking business. So uh, thank you.